Hi, I'm Frank Baker, General Manager of Twin Rivers Engineering. Our company designs and develops infrared-based gas detection instruments. We are excited to introduce you to our latest tool designed for the pest control industry, the Termite Seeker Model TS3. This amazing instrument employs the unique abilities of infrared technology to detect the presence of as little as two or three termites by the gases they emit. The Termite Seeker is a perfect tool to complement the termite detection professional in his work. It will provide the technician and his customers an accurate means of detecting and validating that termites are present. Additionally, after treatment, it serves as a tool to prove the absence of termites. The termite seeker has been proven to be very effective in detection of both dry wood and subterranean varieties in both large and small concentrations. We think that you'll find this low-cost, easily operate instrument an excellent solution for your termite detection problems. Now let's talk about the actual unit itself, the TS3 Termite Seeker. As you see, the unit is encased in a rubber boot. This rubber boot helps protect it against accidental droppage. It also contains clips on the side to get the wand tip out of the way. On the back, you'll find a magnetic clip which is usable for any magnetic surface that you want to use to get it out of the way. The unit itself is powered by a rechargeable lithium ion polymer battery which gives you up to eight hours of continuous use. If you need to recharge it, it only takes approximately three hours to do that, which is very good. On the tip of the wand, there's the nozzle which contains a dust water porous filter. It's just replaceable. This filter in itself, if it encounters water, will actually shut the unit down from taking in any samples to protect itself. Never operate this without one of these porous filters in it. To start your unit up, press the on off button for one second. This initiates the startup process that will calibrate the unit. If you'll note during this time frame that the LED lights are going to flash back and forth. This, this takes approximately 30 seconds and at that same time we're doing a, a check of the lights to make sure they're working properly. When this is complete, you'll see a quick flash of all the LED lights followed by a strong tone. That will signify that the unit has been completed and ready for use. After that, you'll note that this unit will settle into a one second tone and then you're ready to detect termites. Sensitivity level is controlled by this function. It consists of three levels that you can choose from. H being your most sensitive allows for you to detect very small quantities of termites typically you'd find in a dry wood colony. M is your medium and that allows for detection of larger concentrations such as the subterranean colonies. L is your lowest sensitivity and more useful for helping isolate your main colony concentrations where you've had several hits in a detected area. The unit starts in medium level, which you can change at any time when you're ready. Let's talk a little bit more about the functions available on the Termite Seeker. You have a mute button that allows you to turn the sound off and on. You have a peak hold button that will allow you to capture the highest LED lit during the detection phase. And also, there's an LED lit up here to indicate that that function is on. Simply repressing the button will turn that function off. You have a low battery indicator light up here that when you have only approximately one hour left of battery life, it will turn red. And it's just a reminder for you to recharge this as, at your earliest convenience. Also, that light will be used during a recharge phase where the LED will be flashing off and on until the charge is complete. And at that time, the light's extinguished and you have a full charged unit again. One additional feature you'll find in, in this unit is it has a 10 minute automatic shutdown if the unit is not being used to help you preserve battery life. Lastly, to shut the unit down, simply press the off button for one second and then you're ready to store. Now let's talk about the 
nozzle functions for the termite seeker. The nozzle itself is useful for around baseboards or electrical outlets or any exposed area that you're looking for a termite infestation. If you're trying to find termites within a termite channels or within the wall, wall board, wall spaces, we recommend the use of the needle probe. The needle probe in itself replaces the nozzle and also contains its own dust water filter. Now, this concludes this discussions of the functions that we've described to you for the Termite Seeker TS3. Now we're going to describe the contents of the case that, that comes with your unit. In addition to the TS3 unit that we have here, you receive a needle nose probe, which we'll talk about later and how well you can use that. There is an extension, wand extension, that's nine inches that can be added to the existing wand that you have on the unit. You have a vehicle charger that you can plug into your car. You have an AC adapter for your wall and a packet of additional 10 filters that go in the end of your nozzle tip or your needle nose pro. Uh, as far as paperwork wise, we have the Certificate of Conformity. This validates the unit has gone through considerable conformity validation testing and quality control. You have your user's manual, which we've attempted to describe to you today in full. But there's some additional information in there I think you'll find very useful. I encourage you to review it. As well as your CD that you're viewing at this time. This concludes this segment for the Twin Rivers Engineering Termite Seeker TS3.